Okay. All right. Did you talk about Chris Paul finally getting number three from Keldon? Pop talked to Keldon about it. So now Keldon will have a different number. Actually, yeah, I know exactly where this is coming from. This right here? Yeah. Yeah. So rumor has it. All right. This is from Spurs Reporter. Okay. Uh, but rumor has it is that what actually happened with the whole Chris Paul situation, you know, a little update for you, is that Chris Paul obviously wanted his number and Popovich, Popovich talked to Keldon and told him, hey, it's the right thing to do. And Keldon Johnson was willing to give up his number. Now we can read here. Anyway, the ruckus and reaction caused me to reach out. So basically what he said was he first posted that Chris Paul would get three and Keldon will get zero. Like that's what he's heard or whatnot. And there was a little bit of backlash. So he wanted to elaborate a little bit. Um, and he said he adds some people basically if they can dig deeper into it. And he said, according to Lee sources and historical precedent, this is usually how it goes when it comes to giving up a number for a veteran. So he said negotiation, the veteran might negotiate with the current player to obtain the number. This can involve monetary compensation, uh, compensation gifts, or other agreements um two choosing a new number the veteran may choose a different available number a number this often happens if the younger player is particularly attached to their number probably also if the younger player is a superstar right um and then team decisions sometimes the team management might step in to facilitate a resolution especially if the veteran player has significant influence on the number holds special uh significance so let me go ahead and bring this up so let me go ahead and say, um, I brought up a few different reasons why in a particular clip that Keldon Johnson might have said that he was going to keep number three, right? I thought, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, here's some, here's some more uh, confirmation here. This San Antonio Spurs officially selling a shirt that has Chris Paul with a three on it. So looks like Chris Paul might be number three and Keldon will be switching numbers. Uh, tease from Dick Sporting Goods, unless his former Spurs car, Brandon Paul tease. Uh, they could have they could have been doing that. Could have been doing that on the clever, on the sly. Uh, but yeah, let me show you this. So Jeff G Spurs actually went to, oh my gosh, he posts way too often. I'm never going to find this. I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. Oh my goodness. It never ends. I'm just going to keep scrolling. Jeez. All right, while well, this is doing it. Um, so we looked at a video in which I was like, oh, because he straight up said he was going to keep number three. Like that's what... Uh, Keldon Johnson end up saying and I thought hey he could either be a just straight up lying or number two actually don't know uh what's about to happen and you know maybe also hasn't talked to anybody about it yet and it seems like that was probably more than likely the most likely reason for him being so adamant that he'll keep it let's see I can't believe this is taking so long why does he post so much? I didn't have that sign. Life hack by Brandon Paul Jersey, and it will be cheaper. Cool. Free advertisement, I guess. Keldon wore zero in high school, or at least when he played in camps back in the day, but he's had so many numbers before. From my understanding, he had three because he actually looked up to Chris Paul, so it shouldn't be that surprising that Chris Paul would get the number. I also thought that it could have been that he was about to get moved, right? Like, oh, yeah, I'll have number three, but he was going to get removed or moved off the team. Why? All right, guys, I'm about to give up. I'm close to quitting. I tagged you on something, Keldon Jersey number related on Twitter. Okay. We're going to take a look at that. All right, I'm already ready to give up on this. Yeah, I'm be honest with you guys. I already, I'm, I'm getting tired of looking. I'm getting tired of looking. It's him posting, Kelly Johnson slimming down, and I thought it happened after that. 
I'm about to lose my mind. All right, I'm gonna see what you tag me in. Let's take a look. I'm I'm already giving up. Maybe he deleted it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting not to care. I'm too persistent. I can't do this anymore. I give up. All right, you say you tag me. Let's see. Oh, okay. So he tagged me showing all the different numbers he's worn before. So 0, 12, 24, 23, 40, 4. Yeah, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be that crazy. Anyways, maybe he deleted it. Maybe he did. I don't know. That's weird. But nonetheless, we took a look at it before, and it was basically Keldon Johnson saying, yes, I'm going to be wearing number three. But once again, it could have literally come down to he's meeting a fan. He's trying not to let them worry. Is of his understanding. No one's talked to him. So, yeah, I'm going to be number three. I never thought that it was an ego thing. I never thought that it was a um rebellious thing that some people might have brought up i i just thought that he genuinely didn't know um hasn't really talked about it and yeah he just thought yeah i'll keep my number of course i mean yeah chris paul's here but like no one's talked to me about it but it's cool that popovich basically came forward and said hey you know make that happen so just some updates there updates there is stefan castle the lit the least hyped Spurs rookie in years because of Wimby. I don't. I don't think that that's true. I don't think that's true. Um, I don't think Joshua Primo had a lot of hype at all. Uh, I mean, I, I would say Sohan had some hype. Sohan had a little hype, uh, but no, I think Castle. The reason why Castle doesn't have as much hype as certain Spurs rookies or whatnot is because his play style. You know, I mean, when he was going after his championship run, he didn't necessarily, uh, you know, put up crazy amount of numbers. You know, he played within the system. So, yeah, it, it makes sense for him to not be on a lot of people's radar. What happened to Castle? Why has he disappeared? Was he kidnapped? That's a good question. Yeah, we haven't heard from Stefan Castle. You know, you know he putting in that work, but let's see. Has he posted anything lately? Yeah, he's literally gone AWOL. I don't know. I'm sure all is fine. Nothing to worry about. Being in Wimby's timeline makes him more hyped, but the class didn't have a lot of hype in general. That is true, too. He probably pulled a Wimby and went off the grid to grind. He is chill. Kawhi 2.9. Kawhi 2.9, sure. Oh, you said 2.0. All-star? All-star, sure. That's right, Fry. That's right. <laughs> 